Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel and thank you for joining me in my first ever video upload. So we're going to start out with a let's play for Ark Survival Evolved uh, right here on the custom character customization screen. Excuse me, I can't speak very well today apparently. Uh, I'm just going to make this guy... Wow. Wow. Anyways, I'm going to make this guy absolutely ridiculously large. Let's just max all this stuff out and see how big he gets. <laughs> that's uh, that's an interesting look there. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's let's even things out of it. I don't need to waste that big. Big, you can't even see his head. All right, so let's take a look to Wombat, and we'll start it out. So I am joining on a PvP server. Uh, for those of you who haven't played, oh, those of you who haven't played this yet and are thinking about it, be warned: PvP servers aren't always the best to start out on. If you're looking for some fun deaths, sure. Join us on a PvP server. So I can already see I have started in a not so good of an area. That is a pretty large encampment there, which means people are high level and have some stuff dinosaur wise that will probably eat me in one bite. So I'm going to work my way thuswardly. Try to pick up some resources as it goes. Some of the things I know I'm going to need right off the start. I'm going to need some stone, going to need some fiber, and I'll need some thatch and wood. I'll get those when I get over. I'll go that way. Maybe. That way? Yeah, we'll go this way. Alright. I'm gonna get away from this camp. Uh, I've, I've had bad luck starting out in the middle of other tribes or high level players. Yeah, I actually, my first attempt at making a video for this uh, ended in me dying several times, one of which was by a level 220 T-Rex owned by another player. And when I say they kill you in one bite, I mean they kill you in one bite. I might upload a video of just that part so you can see. I was level 4, and uh, I got decimated. Always be looking around you, be listening. Big turtle over there. He's he's an herbivore. He's not going to attack unless I attack him first. And don't get me wrong; they can kill you if you're not careful. I'm just not going to attack him. As I'm swimming, also make sure you pay attention to your O2 levels on the right hand side of the screen. If I go down. You'll see that start to go down. Let it go too far, you will die. Same thing with your food and hydration levels. Cool thing about hydration, swimming and even standing in the rain will refill your hydration. Alrighty. Hopefully I'm far enough away from that. Probably not. I'll go ahead and get some punch away at the tree. And if you watch the bottom, very bottom right hand side, you can go across. Yes, if you do this, you do get damage. You do take it. So don't do it too much. But you got to do this. You got to do this to get your first basic tool. Be, yeah, so I'll finish this thing and then hopefully I can make it. Now, Crafting section here. Yep, I can make a stone pickaxe. Need some flint to make the torch, which I can actually get. All right, so my video editing or my video recording software kind of glitched out on me, stopped recording. I haven't mentioned this much. Uh, you already know I was making the stone pickaxe. I think when the other video ended. Uh, since then, I did gain a level and learned how to make the stone hatchet and the spear. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and make the hatchet since I have what it takes. Now, different tools allow you to do different things with different objects. 
for instance, on a tree, if you watch... Oh! Actually, equip the tool. On a tree, the stone pickaxe will give more thatch than wood. It'll still give you wood, but not as much as if you use the hatchet. Now I'll get more wood and some thatch. So using the appropriate tool for what you're trying to gather is always important. Uh, another instance would be animal carcasses. Uh, hatchet will give you more hide. Yeah, uh... Uh, yeah, rolling down the hill. Nature happens. Y yeah, you can you can pick up your own poop. Human feces decomposes in 47 seconds. Can use that later on to make fertilizer. Not really going to be any good for me, just like seeds right now. I'm gathering some seeds as I get fiber and berries, but it's not really going to do me any good. So, I was going to do some spears. Uh, I say some spears because one is not really enough, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I like to have at least two, because they do break, and you can use them to throw as well. So, you can throw it and then pick it back up, which is good. Alright, so, uh, I'm still a ways away from leveling. We'll continue going up or down the beach. Picking up stones, fiber, berries, all that good stuff. Berry is important. It is really the only food you're going to have at low level first starting out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. Uh, keep moving down the beach a little bit, gathering some stuff as I go. And uh, I'll be back as soon as I find a decent location to start and hopefully survive. Alright, so I didn't make it very far and I did run into something I was going to show. Uh, I, you can see a dodo here, level 8. Dodos are really easy to kill. Even at low levels with a spear, you can take them out. You can get meat and hide from them. But if you take a look at that heart above it, and the heart above the male, that means they are currently trying to mate. <laughs> Uh, while this female dodo is only level 8, its mate is level 72. Not sure if that changes how hard they hit or not. Uh, I'm going to guess it does. But one thing I do know is if you attack one of those, the other guys are going to attack you too. Because they're in their little mating ritual thing. So yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. I don't feel like dealing with anything that might actually possibly kill me right now. Continue moving down the beach. And Alright, so we're back. Uh, yeah. I was swimming across, and I don't know if you saw that. That's a megalodon, I think. It's a big old shark. As you can see, <laughs> big old shark. Let's see what happens when I hit him with that. Nothing. I don't even think I hit him. But I'm not going down to get that and find out. Uh, th th yeah, that'd probably eat me in one bite. Take a quick look here. I don't see anything that would be an aggressive dinosaur. You learn very quickly which ones are and are not. And you stay away from the ones that are not. So this guy right here... Oh, is that... Okay, yeah, we're good. This guy right here. These are the first dinosaurs you get a harness for to tame at low level. I think it's level 6 you can get that harness. Ooh, that looks like an ape man over there. Yeah, that's an ape man. I'm not sure if those are aggressive or not. I've seen them from a distance. It's kind of hard to see. It's in the trees between the rocks. Um, not sure if they're extremely aggressive off the start or if you have to attack them first. And I'm not... Oh, well, I think these are aggressive. This is like... Yeah. Oh, that's a high. There he is. getting attacked. I'm gonna just run the heck away. Looks interesting though. Yeah. Some kind of flying insect. Oh. Yeah, no, they're still coming. Some things will continue to follow you even after you're out of combat. These guys, for instance, do. Uh, if you noticed, I was poisoned when they hit me. And it was draining my stamina. So I'm just going to keep taking a look at how far are these things going to follow me? Yeah. Oops, somebody's dead. Not sure what level he was. Didn't really have time to look. They are. 
Jeez. These things are persistent for sure. Just gonna run till I have no more stamina. So I don't want to go that that far. I'll let uh, Val now. Watch your stamina. Don't let it go too low. And you can't run anymore. I think. Got away from him. All right. So you see some interesting shading and reflection issues right here with this tree. That happens quite a bit, but I mean, it, it is a bay, or, uh, early access. It's kind of, be, kind of to be expected. Not really a killer. It doesn't end the game fun. All right, so that was a perfect example of continuing to always look around. Don't just run face first into something. You never know what's going to be there. Okay, so that's a Dilophosaurus. That little guy right there. Depending on his level, I could kill him with a single spear, possibly. If I had two, I'd feel better about it. But I don't have any more flint. Get some. Just in case. In case he attacks me. I don't know if I can sneak by him or not. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can. Come right over here. Try to get enough to make a spear so I can. Spears will break, so never just have one. And then I need some food. Uh, I could go and kill him for his meat, but I don't even have a campfire yet. I haven't even learned how to make it yet. I'm close to leveling. Actually, did I level? I leveled and didn't even realize it. Yeah, look at that. No, I'm close, though. I'm like 20 seconds away from leveling. You do get... I don't know if I mentioned this before. You do get 0.1 experience every 10 seconds of being alive. So, simply living. There we go. That was my 20 seconds. Less, maybe. Okay. I will add in some stamina. And then we'll learn how to make... So I think it's not really that important yet. Uh, it'll help protect me from heat and clothing, or heat and cold, but so will a house. So... I will learn the foundation, the roof, and the wall. I should learn... the campfire. Uh, there are a lot of campfires around, though. I can use other people's campfires, I think, so... I might just do that as I find campfires. But I got enough. I'm gonna help him a little bit. Let me go kill this Dilo real quick and uh, get some meat off of him. He's harassing the dodo birds. Oh no, there's two oh, two Dilos. All right, yeah, that's not gonna work out for me. That would not be a good fight. So I'm gonna try to run past them while they're attacking the dodo. <laughs> Hopefully they'll just ignore me in their efforts to kill the dodo. I don't want to set up camp right here where I see aggressive dinosaurs. Not going to be a good way to start the game. Here's a dodo. Maybe I can kill him and get some meat. Yeah, why not? Alright, I killed the dodo. So, as I said before, pickaxe will get me more meat. Hide would be nice a little bit later, but I can't really use it yet, so... I'll hold off on that. Now I need to find somebody's camp. And I pooped again. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video until I find a campfire somewhere. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I did not find a campfire yet, but I did find... This is an example of pretty high level, or just a try. Still probably fairly high level. Um, I'm going to make my way past this. I've seen some more aggressive dinosaurs, mainly dilos, along the way. Uh, this is seeming like it's going to take me a little while to actually find a decent area to begin my settlement in. Yeah. Uh, 
don't want to set up right next to, like I mentioned before, right next to a tribe. Because if it does turn out they're big into PvP, I will have a very difficult struggle trying to even get started to survive. So, yeah. I will be back once I finally find an area. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yet another example of watching around. In the water over there, it looks like a raptor. I don't know if you can actually see that. Stop moving. Uh, he kind of blends in, though. It's the green rocks and the water. in there. I'm just gonna keep roaming around. I ended up getting away from the ocean beach and moved inland via this river. Uh, I was hoping I'd have better luck in here. Still see some rather large settlements, but I'm hoping maybe further inland better luck. <laughs> give up on finding a campfire. What is that? Something big over there. I don't know what that is. Is that a... Oh, okay. Whew. Nothing gonna kill me. I'm gonna need some food soon. Still haven't found a campfire. Haven't leveled up again to make one. So... Uh, gather some berries while I got some plants here. This seems like a nice spot right here. I'll probably make do with this. There's some dino feces, big ball of it right here. Medium size. I think those guys are trying to make babies. So I'm just going to scope it out and look around for any aggressive dinosaurs. Uh, that guy with the fin over there, I think that is aggressive. I think. He's trying to get up to those guys. But I will go ahead and start my camp. Um, I've got rocks, plenty of them. I've got plants for fiber and berries. And I've got some trees, a big forest behind me for wood and thatch. So, let's see what I can make. Should be able to make one foundation. I need thatch. So I want to make three foundation by the start, or four, I should say start. And then we'll build from there. I kind of have an idea of what I want to build already. This is my own starting encampment. some stuff and uh, I'll be back. Alright, so while I was leveling up I did gain a level. Excuse me, while I was gathering things I did gain a level. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add in some extra carry weight. Always good to have. Is he standing on me? Brontosaurus is literally standing on me. Alright. Do your thing. Don't, don't, don't make it too. Alright, now I can finally learn the campfire, which is going to be important. Let's go ahead and leave it at that. Alright, I'm going to need some more thatch though. I've already got some of the, the foundation and some of the... Oh, and my pickaxe just broke. That does happen. Just as long as you have the materials, as you see there, 
you can repair. You don't have to make a whole new thing, just, just repair. As you can see, three spoiled. That's how long it's taken me to find this area. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do the foundation and the walls. We'll get the campfire, we'll cook some meat, and then we'll probably go ahead and end this episode. Foundation. If I can learn to walk, I think I'm drunk. My house is nowhere near finished yet, but this is going to be my entrance, so I'll go ahead and put my campfire back here. Yes, you can put a campfire in your house, it's not going to burn it down, even a thatch. Uh, you think it would, but it doesn't. So I'll access my inventory, I have to put some flammable substance in here, like wood or thatch, so I'll go ahead and put my wood, put my meat, light the fire, and we will let this cook for a few minutes. While that's cooking, I'll go ahead and get some water since I'm down to 60 something percent. <laughs> now, the downside is uh, really the time for food spoiling continues to roll even when you're logged off. So you can go log off, go to bed, <laughs> and your food will all be spoiled when you get back on the next day. So, yeah. Didn't mean to lock out the fire. We like that. Grab the inventory. And we got one meat ready. So, since I can't really store food overnight, I at least want to make sure my health and water, well, at least my health, because I've got water right there, is full before I go to bed. Before I, you know, in this game for the night. I do not want to log on tomorrow and be in a rush to try to find food so I don't starve to death. Well, I don't know why I always do that. You have to hold E to get to the inventory when the <laughs> fire is lit. And I always just walk up and, and hit E without the fire. So you get a decent amount of uh, food level from your raw or from your cooked meat, significantly more than your berries. And it's a lot quicker. Uh, your berries are more food over time, while the cooked meat is almost almost instant. So this should be enough food, to, yeah, this will be enough food to put me up to 100%. So you can see, as the wood burns, it also makes charcoal, which will be used later on to make gunpowder and then much later firearms. So don't throw this stuff out. Hold on to it. Now, you'll, you'll want it eventually if you're going to make guns, which is probably not a bad idea. All right, so my food's at 100%. Go ahead and put out the campfire. Take my stuff out. Meat doesn't really matter. It's going to spoil anyway. And then, top off my water one more time real quick. It already did. My water's at 97%. Good enough. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end this first episode. Thanks for joining me. Uh, hopefully this turns out decent. Please leave comments below. Subscribe if you wish. I'll be uploading these videos as often as I can. may not be once a day. I do have a full-time job, so I'll put these on when I can, and hope you guys have a great day.